These are pictures of the tiny bit of silicon that powers the Raspberry Pi 5. I worked with John McMaster to get die shots, pictures of the circuits and traces that make up the Pi's CPU and GPU, the BCM2712 system on a chip. A chip like this has like a billion tiny transistors, and I also worked with another company, Kleindeek Nanotechnik, to get electron microscope scans of individual transistors. Their tech even lets you probe and test circuits inside of chips like these. Companies like AMD, Intel, and NXP use this tech to debug their cutting-edge chip designs. And if you think this is small, these transistors are 16 nanometers. Today's best chips go down to 3 nanometers. And for a better point of reference, a piece of paper is 100,000 nanometers. It's an insane scale we're looking at. These tiny structures power your Raspberry Pi, your computer, your TV, even your phone to do things like display the video you're watching right now. How do they engineer all this stuff? Honestly, it feels like a whole lot of magic.